Hey everybody, Matt Burke here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jack Irons, a Steel Cowboy number one. I backed the uh, campaign a, a while ago. I actually got this in the mail back in October and I've just been, you know, it's been sitting on my pile of books to, to read through and review. And uh, yeah, man, I ordered the, um, basically I ordered uh, three reader copies, you know, um, and like they were, they were printed like not the best quality, but I was just like, dude, those look pretty good to me. But he, he you know, he, he had offered them at a discounted price. So I got issue one, two, and three at that, at that, um, at that uh i guess rating and then um uh, issue four came in too but uh, i guess the campaign was a little bit late you know um and uh, he, he threw in um actually non-reader copies one two three and then the fourth one I, I ordered um that came with that but he also these are the ones that i ordered the the, the three reader copies so stand-up guy man cody for fernandez i got the three reader copies right here and then i got these uh three right here that i don't even have to bust open i can just keep them as is and uh, this is the fourth one I read, or I ordered too. So, pretty awesome, man. Stand up guy, man. Stand up guy. Um, and also, he also packed up this um, really cool poster right here of Jack Irons, or Jackie Irons Western. Um, it's kind of like an alternate take on the character. It's got this cool sticker too right here. And uh, for for those of you that don't know, um, Jack Irons, man, he's like this. For me, it's, uh, it was this this cool cowboy that like uh, that I seen uh, you know uh, uh, going through like the crowdfunding scene. Uh, like the past almost 10 years now and it was just like a book i really wanted to read man it looked like a, a space cowboy bounty hunter you know kind of like logo mixed with like or lobo mixed with like clint eastwood and it was just man as soon as that campaign you know the next book launches i, I wanted to pick up on it so that's what happened i, I jumped on it and here we go uh, i'm gonna be reviewing uh, all four of these issues but um i just wanted to let you guys know like i <laughs> i backed three reader copies and the, and the fourth issue and he sent me uh three brand new books and all this stuff and it's just yeah the guys the guys freaking awesome so big shout out to uh cody uh cody for doing that um but yeah man i didn't uh, uh i didn't really know what to expect for this book other than what i uh previously stated and um yeah it's uh let's get into it there's gonna be some spoilers right here um let's see the creator and writer is cody fernandez line art is maxi diallo colors is mateus laborde uh, letters is Vincent Rush and graphic design is Nick uh, Buffalo or Buffo. Sorry for my French. And it starts up in Sumeria, man, or Sumeria. I didn't expect that. Ancient Earth, ancient Sumeria. I reckon the best place to start, partner, is my uh, Earth's memory. It's a mighty while back, a beautiful day as my mother and I gather supper for field, from the fields. Her face is still brings me warmth. But blood, th but but all good things must end in death. And betrayal and the worst this world can offer so you see the fire some you know crazy shit i know this instant uh, intimately i'm jack irons folks call me the steel cowboy in over 2,000 years of memory and almost 250 years of life i've learned three things all things are endless tenacity gets you through anything and ain't no harm in having a healthy sense of the dramatic plop, plop, plop. i like these um these badass horses right here these these war horses um they're looks like they're robots or, or something but we're soon gonna find out this basically kind of sets up the tone of the world it's definitely sci-fi but um here we go we jump back to um sumeria even ending even endings are endless soaked in blood bathed in violence bravery meets savagery again and again and far too often the brave die young mother so yeah he just obviously took the life of his mother this will be over quick little one beasts have always been here beasts will always be here Fuck. then you jump to um you jump to uh to to greece man and he's basically reborn again into this this warrior and uh this this warrior ends up killing um a prince and uh he's actually the uh sister um, the, the brother-in-law of the uh, of the the princess. <laughs> Once he accidentally kills the the prince, because um, there's some some drama going on, the king comes back and he's just like, "Guards, take him away. You'll die. For, you'll die this evening after I after I visit upon you all the torment you can muster." And he's just like, "Your Majesty, let me." That ends his tale and adds mine. So you jump to now and he's at this this bar right here, out, you know having a beer earth uh, 2076 uh, new deadwood reservation anyways partner that's the part ancient history oh that's the past ancient history what's a glor gotta do to get a, a drink around here another proto beer over here human 
and as far as I can reckon, that's the second life I remember. They all tend to blend together. Everything is just a, a repeat of what's come before. Granted, slightly altered. Look, 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 look. And you see this crazy looking dude right here in the background. It's all the same. And then you jump to right here. This is a Northeastern uh, Territory, 1778. I was a young man out for blood. Thankfully, wisdom was on my side. Lighthawk, it wasn't his time, nor was it yours. Be grateful. It's growing late. Let's not uh, let our dedication take another meal from us. It serves no purpose. He's returned to his home already. We should uh, heed his example. Let us return to a warm fire in the company of our people. <clears throat> So he's going home. His his um his uncle and um one of, and a uh, wise man of the town. You know, the uh, the the village, the tribe. They're they're talking about basically giving up some land to the uh, to the white man, and uh, the dad isn't having it. The uncle's having it, and um, sure enough, man. Let's see what happens. Then you uh, you got you got still cowboy chilling right here at the Cody's bar. Now enough of that. I must think of the think of the future. So uh, here's there's a hell of a uh, tale to to that man. One that should have uh, made me more respectful. At a young age, he was found living feral with grizzly bear and, and her cubs. It was said that when uh, our medicine man found him, the she bear told him to take the boy, that he was to sire a child whose fate was to be all fates. Bear child, he's one of my fathers. So yeah, here comes here's here's him again. You know, basically he's leaving the village, and then um, you know his uncle is like, "Look, look at this. His son, his own his own son abandoned him. I haven't abandoned him, uncle. I hope my absence will convince him to leave us his pride behind. I'm Henry Rogers. Who, my dear boy, are you? He doesn't have your tongue, white man." Well, well, let's, uh, we'll just have to fix that, fix that now, won't we? Let me jump back to the future. Rogers took me in, taught me English, and how to shoot a rifle. Those days, uh, however, were short-lived. Death always comes, and always wears a different face. So he's sitting there drinking, drinking some of that, that green slime. Well, I should head out, partner. Always got something that needs doing. Here's some extra for the damages. You see this uh, big gun coming out of nowhere. Mighty nice of you, Phil. Mighty nice of you letting the fella finish his drinks. <laughs> Thought that was a good part. So right here, uh, basically he's telling him, you know, processing um, complete crime count. Uh, it's a big ass number. Oh, was it? One hundred and forty-four thousand eight hundred and eighty known. 45 unconfirmed Jonathan Nathaniel Irons, a.k.a. Jack Irons, a.k.a. the Steel Cowboy, a.k.a. the Metal Rebel. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're wanted for the murder of agents of mercy scavenging from government-owned ghost towns and distribution and transportation of proto-liquor. Scans show a mutation um, show a mutation scans and testing required. You'll accompany me to the nearest Famine Corp regional office. Damn. I like this line right here. In short terms, dead or alive, you were coming with me. <laughs> Hell of a thing to tell a man, especially one that won't stay dead. You see, ain't no, uh, ain't no box, pine, or iron that can hold me. I just fixed that table from the last time, Jack. Quit your john, woman. It's it's been paid for. Blam blam blam. You fools are costing me a bundle in the bar stools. I'm starting to take offense. Clank. This is for my favorite card table. Clomp. Pink. I hardly got to know it. Damn, Glora's always cheat me anyhow. And then in the end, and and then I'm the bad guy for blasting off one of his uh, heads. It's not like I didn't. It didn't grow back. Damn Borgs, or Boars, don't, didn't know a thing. That's not all I've done in famine country. <clears throat> it's, it's bookies mu must be dying faster than usual. And that certainly ain't all I should be dead for. Partner, 
all things are endless. So it you know, circles back to all things are endless from the first part. Um, yeah, man, this fucking killer first issue, uh, it grabs you by the throat, creates intrigue. I'm, I can't wait to read the second book. Um, we got some really cool fan art in here. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. I got Carl Rowe right there. I tell you, man, it's always cool seeing fan art of characters, you know? Yeah. But yeah, definitely, guys. Check this out if, if they're available. I don't know. It might be kind of hard to get now. Maybe he'll be doing a, a trade paperback campaign later on. But, yeah, Two Horns Way Up. Um, always, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Always remember to be bold, be brave, and roll the bones to know your rule. See you guys next time. Stay metal.